hello everyone i hope uh, you all are doing well so dear students today we are covering a very important topic the taylor series method for solving differential equations uh, whether you are a mechanical civil computer science electronics or any other engineering branch student this method is extremely important and uh, it is common to all branches i think it is the model fifth for each and every stream right so in this video we'll be discussing we'll be learning the Taylor series method you don't need to remember the formula itself okay uh, there will be the data handbook available so the formula will be written over there it is not necessary for you students to remember the formula only thing is you, you need to calculate the unknown values uh, in the series and try to put down those unknown values in this particular series so that you will get the required Taylor series method. so in Taylor series method always you should remember one thing there will be initial condition given so it is gen in general y of x naught is equal to y naught this so this is the initial condition for taylor series method it will be given in each and every problem so uh, we will try to solve one problem over here so that you will clearly understand the taylor series method over here okay this is the taylor series method formula we will try to rewrite it again in the problem so that you will uh, clearly understand how it works over here okay so employ taylor series method uh, to find y at x is equal to 0 0.1 correct to four decimal places for the initial value problem dy by dx is equal to x minus y square y of 0 is equal to 1 this is called as initial condition as i earlier mentioned it will be given in each and every problem so y of x naught is equal to y naught is the initial condition so here we have y of 0 is equal to 1 means this 0 is here x naught and 1 is here why not okay so you should remember this uh, so this is the easy problem i hope you all will do this so let us see the procedure so in solution i can write down dy by dx is given uh, we can also represent this dy by dx as y dash so y dash is given is equal to x minus y square what do we have to calculate so uh, see here this is the series i will rewrite it again so that you will also remember it so y of x is equal to y of x naught plus see x minus x naught you write down raised power 1 x minus x naught raised power 2 you write down then x minus x naught raised power 3 you write down okay so this is x minus x naught raised power 1 divided by 1 factorial and y dash of x naught means this is the first differentiation y dash of x naught plus x minus x naught whole square divided by 2 factorial y double dash of x naught double differentiation then plus x minus x naught whole cube divided by 3 factorial y triple dash of x naught uh, and it will go on right so in this particular question we have to correct to four decimal places means uh, we have to write down again one term that is x minus x naught divided by sorry x minus x naught raised power 4 divided by 4 factorial y 4 times of x naught this means we have to differentiate a 4 times this y okay see here this is the given equation we have to now uh, put down the values see i can write down here y dash of x naught is equal to instead of x i will write down x naught minus y of x naught whole square see we have given values as x naught value is zero so minus y of x naught y of x naught means zero x naught is zero so y of zero whole square see here zero minus uh, y of zero is nothing but see here y of zero is equal to one so i can write down one square you are getting here y dash of x naught is equal to zero minus one is nothing but one sorry this is minus one so y dash of x naught is equal to minus one we are getting one value see in this particular series or you can see here y dash of x naught we have calculated now we have to calculate y double dash of x naught similarly y triple dash of x naught then y four times of x naught we have to calculate then accordingly we will put down those values in this particular series we will get the required taylor series okay so we have calculated one value that is y dash of x naught now we will calculate y double dash of x naught see here y double dash of x naught is equal to see we have to double differentiate this given equation okay so y dash is equal to x minus y square is the given equation first of all we did a first differentiation then double differentiation then similarly we will go for triple differentiation okay and so so on so a differentiation of x with respect to x is nothing but one differentiation of x is one minus y square differentiation with respect to x is power down that is two y and internal differentiation of y is y dash okay hope uh, the differentiation part is clear to you students if you are facing some difficulties in differentiation problem uh, you can just comment down so that i can make uh, the basic video for differentiation over there okay so differentiation of y square is nothing but 2y y dash okay now put down the values you can write down here 1 minus 
2 into instead of y we can write down y of x naught and instead of this y dash y dash of x naught okay why i have written this x naught and x naught over here okay we are checking the values at only initial value okay and these values are only given itself so 1 minus 2 into y of x naught is given here see here y of x naught means y of 0 and y dash of 0 over here right so 1 minus 2 into y of 0 is nothing but 1 so 2 into 1 so y dash of x naught we have calculated here so this is minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 so 1 minus 2 into minus 1 is minus 2 that is plus 2 we are getting which is equal to 3 so y double dash of x naught we are getting 3 over here so these two values we have calculated y dash of x naught y double dash of x naught right then we have to calculate y triple dash of x naught okay now we will calculate this one so i can write down here y triple dash of x naught which is equal to now we have to differentiate this equation triply see here we have already double differentiated this uh, equation over here okay now after triple differentiation now this equation you have to consider okay so you have to differentiate this equation triply over here so differentiation of constant is nothing but zero so differentiation of one will be over here zero minus two i am taking constant now you can see here uv rule uv rule in differentiation you already know so u as it is means y as it is differentiation of y dash is nothing but y double dash plus now v as it is means y dash is v here so y dash as it is differentiation of y is nothing but y dash okay this will be the differentiation of this one so is equal to 0 minus no need to write this 0 so minus 2 so y y double dash nested i can write down y of x naught y double dash of x naught y dash of sorry this is y dash into y dash is y dash square means y dash of x naught whole square i can write down okay in order to easily understand this particular problem just because we have these values given over here so minus 2 into y of x naught means y of 0 x naught is 0 already y of 0 is equal to 1 so 1 multiplied by y double dash of x naught we have calculated see here it is 3 so 1 into 3 plus y dash of x naught whole square we already calculated y dash of x naught is equal to minus 1 so minus 1 whole square right so this is minus 2 3 into 1 is 3 plus 1 square is minus 1 square is 1 over here okay so this is 3 plus 1 is 4 4 into 2 is 8 so minus 8 we are getting y triple dash of x naught hope you are following so we have calculated now y triple dash of x naught also now we are left with y four times of x naught see here so for y raised power 4 x naught so what is the equation now this equation you have to consider okay accordingly in previous step we considered this equation now we have triply differentiated this okay now you have to consider this equation for this y raised power 4 x naught okay this is the equation now differentiated differentiation of 0 is nothing but 0 no need to write so minus 2 now here we have two uv rules uv means y as it is differentiation of y double dash is nothing but y triple dash plus v as it is means y double dash as it is differentiation of y is nothing but y dash plus now again uv rule y dash y dash right so i can write down here u as it is means y dash as it is differentiation of y dash is nothing but y double dash right plus now y dash as it is differentiation of this y dash is nothing but y double dash now you just put down the values first of all you just make it simple like this y of x naught y triple dash of x naught plus y double dash of x naught y dash of x naught right simply here plus y dash of x naught y double dash of x naught plus y dash of x naught y double dash of x naught now we just put down the values which is equal to minus 2 y of x naught is nothing but 1 it is given in the problem so 1 into y triple dash of x naught we have calculated this so minus 8 right plus y double dash already we have calculated this is 3 so 3 multiplied by y dash of x naught it is minus 1 so minus 1 plus y dash of x naught it is already here y dash of x naught is minus 1 and y double dash this is y double dash of x naught is 3 so multiplied by 3 plus y dash of x naught is nothing but minus 1 right then y double dash of x naught is 3 so multiplied by 3 right so you have to calculate this now 
minus 2 this is minus 8 into 1 is minus 8 plus minus is minus so minus 3 plus minus is minus so minus 3 plus minus is minus so minus 3 you are getting here minus 2 and this much minus 8 minus 3 minus 3 minus 3 right this is minus 8 minus 9 so that is minus 17 minus 17 into 2 so minus 17 into minus 2 is nothing but 34 you are getting y 4 times of x naught is equal to 34 so we are getting these values already we have calculated now this you can just put down these all values in this particular series we will get the required Taylor series now we can put down these all values in the given series I can write down y of x is equal to y of x naught it is given in the problem y of x naught is equal to 1 see here y dash of 0 sorry y of 0 is equal to 1 so this is y of x naught is equal to 1 so 1 then plus x minus x naught so x minus x naught value is nothing but 0 see here x naught value is 0 I can write down here x minus 0 is nothing but x okay divided by 1 factorial means 1 okay so multiplied by y dash of x naught so y dash of x naught is equal to minus 1 so multiplied by minus 1 okay hope you are getting my point then plus x minus x naught whole square divided by 2 factorial so x minus x naught is nothing but 0 so no need to write so x square divided by 2 factorial means 2 into 1 okay multiplied by y double dash of x naught y double dash of x naught is 3 so multiplied by 3 plus x minus x naught whole cube so simply x cube just because x naught is 0 so x cube divided by 3 factorial means 3 into 2 into 1 multiplied by y triple dash of x naught so y triple dash of x naught is minus 8 so minus 8 plus x minus x naught raised power 4 see here x raised power 4 divided by 4 factorial means 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 multiplied by so y 4 of x naught so we have calculated y 4 of x naught as 34 so I can write down here now 1 minus x this is 3 into x is plus 3x square divided by 2 plus x cube sorry this is minus plus is minus so minus 8x cube divided by 3 into 2 is 6 uh, plus 34 times x raised power 4 divided by 4 into 3 into 2 is nothing but 24 so this is your required Taylor series now see it is mentioned in the question that is y at x is equal to 0 0.1 you have to put down uh, this x value as 0 0.1 so y of 0 0.1 is equal to 1 minus 0 0.1 plus 3 into 0 0.1 whole square divided by 2 minus 8 into 0 0.1 whole cube divided by 6 plus 34 into 0 0.1 raised power 4 divided by 24 so we will calculate this in calculator over here okay most of the students are doing mistakes while calculating this much in the calculator over there okay what they are doing they are simply uh, taking uh, the complex mode in the calculator over here okay see here menu setup they are choosing two option if you just calculate in this uh, option over here get the wrong answers okay make sure your calcy should be on the first mode this is here written clearly multiplication division plus minus c we have here plus minus divide and cross multiplication only four operations we have to do so you have to choose one setup over here okay first one first option you have to choose this is one of the reasons why students are failing in mathematics subject and are getting backlogs just because they are getting wrong answers in the calculator over there okay make sure you will choose the right option in the calculator i will just calculate this much see here 1 minus 0.1 plus then this option divide option so 3 multiplied by 0.1 whole square divided by 2 then minus division mode again 8 multiplied by 0.1 whole cube shift cube divided by 6 then plus again divide mode 34 multiplied by 0.1 raised power 4 divided by 24 which is equal to 0 0.9138 so y of 0 0.1 is equal to 0 0.9138 this is the correct answer for your y at 0 0.1 so this is the solution for this particular problem i hope you have understood this problem very well over here okay what we did is first of all the formula will be given in your data handbook you no need to remember this we have to calculate this y dash of x naught y double dash of x naught y triple dash of x naught y 
uh, four times of x naught. We have calculated these values. First of all, we differentiated this equation. We got y double dash of x naught. Then we differentiated this term. We got y double dash of x naught, and accordingly we get values. And similarly, y triple dash of x naught. Then y four of x naught. We got all the values. Simply, we put it these all values in this Taylor series. We got the required series as one minus x plus three x squared divided by two minus eight x cubed divided by six plus thirty four x raised to the power four divided by twenty four. And it was mentioned in the question you have to calculate y at x is equal to zero point one. We put down instead of x zero point one. We got value as y of zero point one is equal to zero point nine one three eight. Right. So this is the overall solution for this particular problem. Make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you will subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon so that you will get the notifications time by time. Thank you.